super lost right now. Don't worry. There's a map for that. Let me show you. All right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Summer French and today's episode, here's the drill. I'm going to be talking about the Army career maps. Now, what is the Army career map? That map? It's the secret to getting promoted, but it's not even a secret. On this map that I'm going to show you today, you're going to be able to see the progression for your MOS, your specific MOS right at home. It's going to show you where you need to go to become a sergeant, staff sergeant, all the way up to sergeant major. It's going to show you the schools, the college, the education, the technical certs, the NCOES schools you need to do. It's going to give you the whole map. All you got to do is do it. You just got to do it. That's it. You just got to do it. Now there's a few reasons why you need this map and it's to show you the steady progression that you should be having. The time in service, the time in grade, what schools I should be going to, what classes I should be attending, where I should be at in year 6, 10, 12. Am I behind the curve? Am I ahead of the curve? These are things that this map for your MOS is going to show you. So now I'm going to get into it. If you're near a computer, log in, follow along on your MOS map. Let's do it. All right, once you get to the Army Career Tracker homepage, you're going to see an abundance of links and tabs. The tab you want to click on is the Plan tab on the left, and you're going to go to the Professional Development Model, the first link underneath that tab. Once you get to this page here, you're going to see a navigation tool. It's going to show you around and show you your PDM recommendations as well on the bottom of things you can do to advance. But what I want you guys to focus on is this tab here that says Printable Career Map for your MOS, my MOS being 25 Zulu. On the side here, you can click the MOS and you can go through and choose an MOS that you want to see a career map for. Maybe it's something you're trying to reclass to. Maybe it's something you're trying to do an LPD to for any of the MOSs that you're working with in your platoon, your squad, your team. But this is an avenue for you. For training purposes, I'm going to go to 68 Whiskey and we're going to show you that one. Click that print career map tab. Now on there, once it opens up, you're going to have between three to five pages over here on the left and we're going to see your career map. Now on the top, you can see your skill level, skill level one. That is your E1, E4. Your skill level two task, your E5. Skill level three, E6. Skill level four, E7. Skill level five, E8. And so on to E9 of skill level six. In this, you're going to see rows and columns here of all the things that you should be doing as you advance throughout your military career. Looking into operating stuff, you're starting to see the training that 68 Whiskey should be doing between E1 to E4. When they get to E5, this is some of the training that they should have or be achieving and heading towards right here, as well as on E6, E7, E8. Now also you're gonna see here in generating assignments, as soon as you become an E5, drill sergeant and recruiter are a big deal and are offered to you. And these are things that are gonna help generate the force. Now you look in the broadening, this is gonna be different for every MOS. This one's saying emergency care sergeant, SFAB, right, instructor, writer, becoming an MOS instructor for your specific MOS. There's going to be an abundance of things for broadening that are all different for everybody's MOS. Now scrolling down to the middle of the page, you're going to see professional development. This is DLC 1, BLC. You're moving into ALC, SLC, DLCs. These are the ones that are specifically supposed to be done for you in these ranks that you're up there in. On the functional training, you're going to see here an abundance of training that you can do to help advance yourself in the functional training in the institutional section of your career map. Now, most of these things on this career map will have also have a link that you can click on and go to Airborne and boom, it takes you to Fort Benning Airborne School. Now, onto the second page, you're going to start to see lifelong learning and the human dimension. This is you grooming yourself while in the military, but also being prepared to get out. This is your bachelor's defense activity of non-traditional education, Dante's, your Go Army Ed, your joint transcripts. This is stuff that's going to help you get towards that civilian education. A bunch of links that you can do that you say you should have this to go to E5. You should have this to go to E6. These are the things that you can do there. Now on to the bottom here, you're going to see self-development. Competitive boards, stewardship of the profession. These are things that as you go for soldier of the month, quarter, year, these are things between E1, 3, 4 that you can and should be doing. And you move up to E5, NCO of the month, the quarter of the year, getting into the Sergeant Audie Murphy Club, 
Sergeant Morello's Club. These are clubs that are going to further separate yourself from your peers in the E5 realm, the E6 realm, the E7 realm. These are things to help groom yourself on your career map. On to the next page, you're going to see some more of that self-development, and that's that professionalism part. You're going to see these are going to be more specific to your MOS. So as you see in here, some people might have two blocks, three blocks, the whole thing filled, might have none. You guys are going to start to see that in this section here. And then in the last section is credentialing over here. These are things that can get you those technical certifications on your ERB towards promotion points. These are things that are going to help you in that area. Now onto the last page here, you're going to see Soldier for Life Cycle. Soldier Life Cycle, this is stuff to start helping you as you get ready to start transitioning. Self-assessment, gap analysis, resumes, credentialing. These are going to be things that are going to help you to start transitioning in and out of the military. Now one last thing I want to show you is going to Mill Suite. If you log into Mill Suite, now in the search bar above, type in SmartBook DA PAM 600-25 and search that. That's gonna come up, there's gonna be a top link. Go ahead and click that link. And on here, you're gonna see a smart book for all of your CMFs. Each MOS, you're gonna have a professional development guide to show you some stuff. So what I'm gonna show you in here is I'm gonna click 25 series, since I'm a 25 series. You're gonna go ahead and click view. Once you get here, this is basically the non-picture, the non-graph of your career map, just written out. So if you go down to your MOS, and your MOS is 25 Mike Multimedia Illustrator, you can go on here and see some of the things that they're supposed to be doing, some of the jobs that they're supposed to be doing, some of the training they should be doing, operational assignments that they should be doing, and the leadership and development as we move through, some of the key positions that they should have, some of the key development positions. All of these things that they talk about right here are things that they should be preparing for and getting ready for in their military career. But again, this on here is just a representation, basically, of what we just talked about and seen on the career map. So now that you've seen your career field map, you need to go out and identify where you're at. That's the first key to knowing where you want to go, knowing where you're at. And then two, you need to go out and decide what's next for you. What's your 12-month plan look like? Your three-year plan look like? Your five-year plan look like? You need to start doing this for yourself. And then, here's the key. This is the key. You need to print off your maps for your soldiers and do an LPD. Show them where to find it. Show them what to do with it. Show them how to follow along and show them just where they're at and where they need to go. That's the next step. For you, it's utilizing this and NCOPD. So for today's episode, you follow along, you found out what an Army career map is, you found out where to find it, and now, hey, it's on you what you do with this knowledge. Knowledge is power. It's also going to separate yourself from your peers. This is how you do it. Go out and grind each and every day. Follow along on the map. The Army gave you the answers to get promoted. And for today, that's the drill.